project started when the uh, client, Turnberry Associates, came to us for the project and we did a lot of the initial planning. The relationship with Architectonica also started very early in the concept design. Uh, our instructions from our client was to look at an economical solution that was iconic, that really was for a full service hotel that really would make a statement in Nashville that would be uh, at the very top of the market. And we started working with uh, Turnberry Associates on the conceptual design for this site in downtown Nashville, great site. Uh, as we started developing the conceptual designs, the planning, the massing, it became apparent that uh, the hotel tower really should be located at the corner of 8th and DeMombrian to establish a really dramatic sighting and fit with its surrounding area. I think the overall shape and configuration of the building and the sheer size and scope of it are some of the things that set it apart and how to be able to design a system that can accommodate all that and still you know, be done in an economical manner, allow for easy installation, keep the, the customer from having to go on the outside, you know, be able to do as much of the installation and sealing of the, of the project from the inside. Those were all very you know, challenging aspects to, to the project. We have people that we have uh, gone to in the past that we have uh, relied on for both advice and those were the, some of the initial people that were brought on to this project and one of those uh, uh, companies was Custom Enclosure uh, Solutions, CES, here in Georgia. Great company and we're intimately involved with the exterior envelope of the building. We modify uh, our standard products mm -hmm. to uh, qualify specific job conditions. No, our design policy is a simplified product because we want a customer to use our products easily. That's why our policy is simplified product, even though it's custom. The inspiration was to develop something that was unique to Nashville. There's not much else in Nashville that employ a, a, a curvilinear form on, on most of the skyline. Architectonica um, brought the elliptical shape to the table and uh, formed the catalyst for moving forward with that shape. And I think that even now, uh, the skyline has, uh, has, has been added to in a very positive way by the elliptical shape. I think initially, when I met with Smallwood Reynolds, Stewart & Stewart, they really were trying to understand um, whether or not the YKK YWW 50T system would actually fit the application that they had. This one is a little bit unique since there really was no straight wall. Some of the benefits of using a pre-glazed system for a project like this is to fabricate, assemble, and glaze all of the window wall panels in their shop, send those to the site, get those up to the floor, and then be able to set and install panels all from the inside of the building. So that greatly speeds up the whole installation process. We had uh, multiple different angles in the building. I think 25 different angles, very slightly different. But we didn't, of course we didn't want to make 25 different Marions. We kind of analyzed in the AutoCAD and uh, found we can make that building plan view by making only three custom Marions. How do we integrate a slab edge cover that continually changes? Um, as you go around the radius of the building. And I think the way that we came up with the uh, uniform mullions um, that basically hinged amongst themselves allowed us to create a more fluid line around the building. Also, uh, we made a 3D printed sample uh, to show architect that they can physically see how that Mario works. The idea was that we could create the uh, building by only using three custom extrusions. And the fact that the owner's representatives could actually put their hands on the product and what actually dimensionally it would look like, I think really was a, uh, was a turning point in their decision to move forward with YKK AP America. One of the other issues that happened with this building was because um, there was an exterior crane that helped load the floors. 
So when we came to that opening, uh, the way our system went together is the mullions overlapped each other. So we actually had to develop a custom application mullion for when the crane actually was removed for the building. There were some challenges in the design of, of this building, really revolving around a restaurant level. The span there grew substantially, and one of the discussion points there was, how do we keep the building skin looking uniform from you know, the other 20 plus floors, and then hit this, this mezzanine level that had the restaurant, and have it appear to be the same. That projection, square foot for square foot, is probably the most complicated structure that I have ever worked on in my life. It's hard to even convey all the intricacies that went into that structure. The drainage, the conditioning, the wind loads, the movable nature of some of the window systems, the uh, interface between the structure, the glass, the aluminum panels below. Add all those up, that outdoor dining area is going to be a traumatic space uh, for years to come. The, the Project Center within YKK um, is, is, you know, based around handling large, complex projects such as the JW Marriott. You know, I think our engineering capabilities that we have within our group are well suited to doing a project like this. We're very willing to you know, look at custom designs and develop new ways to do things and you know, all geared around helping them handle the project in the best possible manner. I, I think some of the most rewarding things for me are always seeing the, the finished product. And uh, you know, you think back through all the challenges and, and effort that went into you know, getting to that point. It went way beyond just trying to keep the design intent of the building that the architect had. I think we really tried to capitalize on our knowledge of the product to help not only the aesthetics of the building, but also the installation process and trying to simplify that through design. Well, of course, on time is important, but it was like a second priority. First priority was like a make good solution. The end result of the building, I think, is a successful addition to the city of Nashville. And I think that uh, it will be well received for many, many years in the future. And we have a client, I think, that is happy that it's successful. And I think that as an architect, there's some satisfaction there too.